Hey guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. And today, I'm going to be trying to train Bella. Vinka is still quite younger. Well, if you don't understand, I do have two dogs at home right now. Two German Shepherds. One is Bella, one is Vinka. Vinka is a shoreline German Shepherd. She's just over a year old and Vinka is um, a working line German Shepherd. She's maybe just over six months old. She's quite tough and quite harder to train. Currently, I'm just getting to get her used to everyone at home. Actually, let's move over to where she is and I'll just show her to you guys. All right, let's go and check out Vinka. I left Vinka. So what happens is that usually early in the morning, I take Bella to her kennel and I've been leaving Vinka outside here. You can see Vinka. Hey Vinka. You see she has tied herself around the metallic post. Come here. Come here. Come here little girl. Get around. Okay. Here. You can see her. So this is Vinka over there. Uh, she's tied on a chain and it's ideally not a very ideal place because it's a storage place. We have some wheel barrows here. We have some pipes there and we have some trash here. But there is nowhere else because this is the only place with like a post. So what I'm going to be doing is, I believe I'm going to drill a hole right here, you know, right there, so that I can put maybe a peg, something metallic. That way I can tie Vinka here. And now you might be wondering why I'm tying Vinka here. Because Vinka, like I told you guys, is quite tough. Not very, very friendly. <laughs> and because of her toughness, Vinka is not making very many friends at home. People are quite scared of her, and I'm trying to change that narrative. So I'm trying to socialize her just a little bit more. So instead of putting her inside the kennel, just like I do with Bella, I'm trying to make sure she stays out longer. So during the mornings when it's not hot outside, you know, I'll keep her around at a place where everyone is interacting because this is like the back side of the house where they do their cooking from, you know, if they're cooking from out and where everyone passes and they're interacting with the home, not like the front or the other side. So I'm trying to make sure that I keep her around. That way, if someone is moving around, she keeps seeing the people and interacting with them. And yeah, it becomes nice and easier. And slowly I can see, at first I thought she was like scared and fearing people but no it's not i think it's because the people are just new and now she's getting used to them slowly by slowly she's reducing her backing with everyone at home so i put her on a chain that way she doesn't attack them just in case of anything but she's slowly getting used to them just like she's used to me and as you can see i do have some treats on me you know um i have an egg i've actually not tried giving vinka an egg i'll show you guys you see i have an egg yeah and of course I have dog food okay a dog food so usually what happens is that I keep the dog food close by and um, just to make sure that when people are coming by they can just pet her you know just touch her lightly and then they can give her some food so Vika come on some food for you you want to eat an egg okay let's see good girl yeah vinka had very bad eating behaviors she would literally open her mouth and want to eat your entire hand but right now she's getting better at it you know she's getting better at it okay good girl okay good girl vinka good girl she's turning out to be really nice you know she's a working line so very good for protection work very good for like police kind of work i'm hoping things turn out that way very soon anyway let's go get bella out i leave vinka here i'm going to work on drilling and making sure that i put her in a better position not too close to this maybe f just for a week and then after that i'll you know um i'll treat her just like any other normal dog all right let's go check out bella you can see the kennels our grass over here is still growing and you can see the trash. This was brought here by Bella and Vinka, 100% certain. They picked it from the trash bin, which is not ideal, it's, it's very bad. So we have to get a better way of keeping our trash to make sure this doesn't happen. And take a look at this. See what, you know, we used to, I was using this to give water to Bella. And so I put water inside here and put it inside the house. This is Bella's kennel. And this is Vinka's kennel. You can see inside Vinka's kennel, we have, you know, this. 
This is why I put the water during the daytime when they are in. Now, this was inside Bella's kennel, but you won't believe what Bella did to it. All destroyed. She decided to make it a toy. So it looks like even for the water equipment, I have to make sure it's metallic. Anyway, let's get Bella out. Okay, let's go to Bella. All right, Bella. Come on, let's go, let's go. Whew. No, 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 don't jump on me. Nope. Bella is very, very playful, very playful. You can see her there, she's so playful. And I don't like her jumping on me. So, these days I don't react to her excitement. I don't. So I'm looking for a chain. I certainly do have an extra chain because I want to put Bella over there on a chain. You see, I don't like it when you jump on me. Good, good. All right, I do have some treats here and I'm going to be using them to train Bella. She's already seated and she's expecting something really nice from me, okay? Yes! Free! Good girl! Okay, so over here you can see that I have a leash. This leash is an interesting one. I used it yesterday after I bathed the dogs and I left them somewhere. But it's probably the quality is not very good. So, um, Bella beat it. And so this hook, that hooks to her neck went off. So I've just tried to patch it up using fire. Just tried to be innovative and patch it up using fire. But it's okay, it will work. So let's put it on Bella. Come on, Bella. Bella, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, Bella. Okay. Okay, now we've hooked Bella. The good thing is that with the leash, you'd never ne really need to pull her like too much, you know? You don't need to do too much pulling. Just a little bit of pressure and she'll respond. And then the other thing is that over here in this bag, as you can see, I do have food. The same food that I've been giving Vinka. And I'm trying to train Bella to sit down. Well, to sit and to go down for now. That's one of the things. But I want to be able to train her to do anything, you know. I want to be able to train her to jump, you know, to, to move in between my feet, to heal, you know, walk right beside me, to walk without a leash completely. So let's just do our morning session. So I want to do two 10-minute sessions with each dog every day, but it's very, very difficult because I have a lot of work. So a lot of times in the morning, I actually just have to get up and go. But I usually never miss the evening sessions. Today I've been lucky enough, you know, I'm, I'm doing most of my work from home, so I, I'll be able to train them out. So come on, Bella, come on, come on, come on. All right. Oh, Bella, come on. Yes, good girl. She just sat over there and I've given her an egg as a treat. Good girl. Okay. Enjoying the egg? Okay. Sit. Yes. Good girl. So I use the leash just to make sure that I guide her into the position that I want her to go into. Okay. So it's quite easy. I learned that it's really, really easy to train the dog to sit and to go down. Right now, when she comes in front of me, she just sits. But she hasn't yet understood the word sit. Um, it has to be out of repetition, probably very, very many times every day. Um, so I can lure her into a down position very easily. I just use the food that I have and take it down. There we go. She's already down, you know. And if I want to, oh, she already wants the food, okay. Sit. Yes. Okay. Down. Yes. Now she's down. I want to get her up. Very easy. Just use the food and lower her. Sit in. Good girl. And usually after giving her the food, I will pet her and praise her and then she'll know, you know. That's a really nice thing that I've done. Okay. Down. Good girl. Sit. Free. Oh, good girl. Come on, Bella. No, 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 no. So I'm trying to cut down my energy because I hate it when Bella jumps on me. She's very, very excited and she loves to jump. And as soon as I give her her food, she'll just jump on me. I don't want to do that. Good girl. She just sat on her own. You reward her when she does stuff like that, you know. Sits on her own, you reward her. Good girl. Okay, okay, free. Okay, good girl. Okay, sit. Yes, good girl. Down. Good girl, sit. Down. Sit. Free. 
Yeah, I think she's learning well. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think. Um, I'm trying to do my very best to ensure that I give her everything that she needs in terms of training. I think I'm not doing badly, terribly, honestly. I'm not a professional dog trainer, as I've already said. It's my first time doing this. Uh, my first time trying to train a dog of any kind. And um, I think I'll do quite well. What do you guys think? There's a lot more that can be trained, but well, trying out things for the first time. So tell me your ideas. Give me ideas of what you would love to see on the YouTube channel, what you guys think. I would love to share Bella's growth and you know, change over here on the YouTube channel. Um, my experience, you know, training her. Tell me what you think you would love to see. I want to get ideas from you guys. <laughs> Otherwise, thanks for watching. Lots of love. Catch you very soon with another video. Bye bye. By the way, I don't like it when they lick my face. I've seen it. Some other people are quite comfortable with it. I'm not. I'm not very comfortable with it. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever get comfortable with it. Bella looks really awesome. Tell me what you think. Yeah? Very strong. And she's still so young. Wow. Beautiful. I want to train her and take her for some dog shows. You know? Um, and try out her obedience and everything. She's a very confident girl. So, I think we shall do really, really well. Otherwise, lots of love. Bye-bye.